guys, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to sublimate a house coaster. So stick around. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela Flip and Flutter Creations. And today we're gonna learn how to sublimate on a house coaster. This one's square, you can also get them in round. These are really cute because you can get a set of four and a little wood block to stick them in and they make really great gifts. So these I get from Infinity as well. You've probably seen I get a lot of my sublimation products from there and I've already got my design printed. It matches the mouse pad that I made and this would be something that maybe, especially for people like teachers or somebody that works in an office, you could offer them the mouse pad with a matching coaster for their office and that's really neat. So what I did is I've already kind of pre-pulled my, my little clear piece. You need to make sure that you're peeling that off when you are getting ready to sublimate so that you don't accidentally try to sublimate on it because it will not come out clear. So make sure you take that off first step. And then I have my design printed. I did print it a little bit larger than my product and I do that and you've probably heard me mention that I do that so there's always that little extra bit so that I never end up with any white by accident around the edges so the way that I get my products lined up is I turn them upside down and I tape them to this first and actually what we can do is we can actually just that looks pretty good pretty even I think that's good maybe twist it just a little there we go so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip that over carefully, holding that on there so that it doesn't move. And I'm gonna tape my design to the butcher paper here, just to keep it from moving. It'll make that a little easier to take that off if it's not attached to the product itself. And then we're just gonna put a clean piece of butcher paper on top, just to make sure we collect any of those gases. I have my heat press set on 350 and we are going to actually change that. We're gonna put it on 45 seconds. So it's a little lower than what you've seen me do on my other sublimation products, but I've tested a few of these out. I wasn't using what the supplier said to use for time and temp on this. So we're gonna hopefully test it out. This will be my third time actually trying to film this video, testing out the settings on these MDF coasters. And hopefully this one comes out because I have lowered the temperature to 350 instead of 385. And instead of 60 seconds, we're only going to do 45. And here we go. Okay, three seconds. Getting my heat gloves on. And here we go. Let's see how this did. Please be right. Da, 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 da. Moment of truth. Actually, that's not enough. I think I'm actually going to leave that on there. And I don't know if this is going to work. That is not dark enough. So I'm actually gonna put that back. I'm gonna put that back on for about 15 seconds. I think with the lower temp, maybe with 60 seconds, that would have worked perfectly. So we're gonna let it count down to about 30. I don't know if you can really put this back on there. I'm hoping I didn't move it any. We're gonna find out. Oh no! Guess what I just did? I forgot to put my Put your paper back on there. Whoopsies. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so that's what we need to do. Now I do know what the, it needs to be 350 for 60 seconds. And that would have been perfect if I hadn't touched it or moved it. My white came out nice and clear. So 350, 60 seconds, and then you have a beautiful, gorgeous house coaster. You can personalize these with pictures, cute sayings, funny sayings and give them again either as gifts for yourself around your house they're fairly inexpensive they're like a little over a dollar something each so a set of four about five bucks with tax and everything and there you go super cute easy way to give somebody a personalized gift i've got mine it says just a mom boss trying to build her empire it's got my logo and me and my little baby girl so that's going to go in my office for my drinks to sit on when I am doing all my crafty stuff. And yay, I'm so glad this one finally came out pretty much perfect. I will definitely know how to perfect this from now on, 350 for 60 seconds for these MDF materials. And I think that'll work out perfectly. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. 
so that you can be notified the next time I post my next tutorial. Thanks for stopping by my channel.